Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for watching. A little over a year ago, I uploaded my most popular video to YouTube, which was the hidden features about a Mini Cooper, and that video has done really well. But unfortunately, the quality and the audio were not up to par with some of the things that I put out now. My mic was really bad, I was really shaky. So unfortunately, though the video has done very well, I also get comments like this, and yeah, it's kind of funny, but it's true. The audio was really trash. So at the same time, I want to remake that video. I want to do a little less talking and get right into it. So guys, I'm going to remake the video. This is the five best hidden features about your Mini Cooper. All right, guys. So the first hidden feature, and this is my personal most favorite one, is being able to start the car without the key of the ignition when you don't have comfort access. So typically when you go start a car, for example, if you have a manual, you put your key in the slot, you put your foot on the clutch, neutral, press the button and the car starts, right? So I'm gonna turn the car off. Now you can do this without having the key in the ignition. And the way you do that is you're gonna put your key in the slot, no foot on the clutch, press the button, your accessories are gonna come on. Then you could push the key out of the ignition, put your foot on the clutch, you have about 10 seconds, press the button, and the car starts. So as you can see, my car is running, I have my key right here in my hand, everything is on, air is blowing, and you have no need for this. This is gonna be super useful, uh, possibly in the winter time, when you wanna warm up the car and you know you have the doubt of somebody possibly maybe stealing it or whatever the case is, you can take the key inside with you and the person won't be able to drive the car away without the key being inside of the car. Or you're running into a store, you need to get something quick, it's hot, it's cold, you wanna keep the air or the heat on, the same thing applies to that. So the first one is starting your car without having comfort access, no key in the ignition. All right guys, second hidden feature, and this is super nice and super useful as well, is we're gonna focus on the passenger side. So obviously you press the button and you have your standard glove box that you put your stuff in. But above, right here, if you push, you have a second storage compartment. I guess you can consider this a second glove box where you could put any important like documents, your wallet, keys, and people will not know that they are there. So this is where I normally keep, I keep my insurance card and my registration card up in here. I have a phone charger, uh, aux cord and stuff like that, but you can keep whatever you need up there. It's super useful. Most people when they get their minis do not know that that storage compartment exists or if you want to consider it a second glove box, but it's super nice. You could put different things in there that you need, important stuff that, that you don't want people to find. You know, you might have, you know, uh, Snoopy friends that like to be curious and like to open your stuff and look, but they won't know what you have in here. So any personal important things you need, you could keep in this hidden glove box. It's super useful. That's the second hidden feature. All right, so we're gonna be on the outside of the car now. So the third hidden feature for the Mini Cooper is you're able to lower the windows and pop your sunroof with your key. So right now my car, I'm gonna lock it. So we're gonna lock it. So the car's locked. So what you gotta do is you're gonna press the unlock button once. You're gonna lock it and then hold it. So I'm holding right now. And as you can see, the windows are starting to go down and you'll see the sunroof flip open the front and the back. So that's super cool. Uh, I mean, honestly, I guess the only way I could really see this as a benefit is if maybe it's like really hot out and you just wanna lower the windows before you get in the car to let some of the heat out. But also you can do this when you lock the car as well. If you get your uh, car coated, you can do this with the lock. So the same thing applies, but this only applies if the car is coated. So you're gonna press lock once, hold the lock button, and then as you're holding, well, for some reason mine stopped working, but there you go. Windows go up, sunroof closes, and there you go. Guys, for the fourth hidden feature for the Mini Cooper, it's one that I like a lot because you're able to customize the interior in a way that suits you and the color that you like. So for example, as you can see right now, you got your two lights here, and if you guys have a Mini, you know that on the side panel airbags, you also get a light. As you can see right now, it's blue on mine. But if you go up here, let me make it a little brighter for you guys. There is like a half sun is like filled in. So if you press this switch up, so let me show you, you're gonna press it forward. See, it switches through the colors. So you can switch your color. So maybe you didn't know that. So you can choose a color that you want. And also if you take the switch and flip it back like this, 
you can also change the intensity of the light. So you can make it brighter. I don't know if the camera picks it up, but you can make it brighter. There you go, yeah, you can make it more dim. Like so. And again, if you go forward, you could change the color. And the coolest thing about it is if you hold this button straight forward for like 10, 15 seconds, it'll go into like a disco mode. So let me show you that. So I'm holding the button forward right now, the little switch, and it's gonna start cycling through the colors. And when it gets to, I guess you could call it like a disco mode, it's gonna blink. So let's see, there you go, it blinked. And then now look, it's gonna cycle through every single color that the car has. So maybe you can't pick a color for your interior, but as you can see, it cycles through every single color now in disco mode. And let's say you don't like that anymore and you wanna choose a solid color, all you gotta do is come back to the switch, press it forward, and it'll stop on the color that the switch uh, ended on. So you can switch again. Personally, I have yellow because I have a yellow themed car, but yeah, so it's super cool. It allows you to customize the car in the way you want. So that's a really cool and neat little hidden feature. All right guys, so the last hidden feature, and it's really cool. I'm gonna show you how to get into the Mini Cooper hidden menu. I made a video about this a couple of months back, so you can watch that. I'm gonna leave the link in the description if you wanna get more detailed into it and how to navigate it. But basically what you gotta do is we're gonna cancel all these warnings that pop up. Yes, there's a lot of stuff wrong with my car, guys. But no, I'm just kidding. Uh, you're gonna hold the trip reset button. This might take like 10 to 15 seconds. You're gonna hold it in. It's gonna go through the menus. There we go. Should be it. There you go. So now you're gonna hold and get in. And now you're in the Mini Cooper hidden menu. All these different menus have different features. If you watch my video, you'll see everything that uh, you can be done there. I have some warnings popping up. That's why it's kicking me out. But you guys can navigate through the hidden menu. Basically, you just add up when it pops up VIN like it did before. You just add up the last five numbers of your VIN number all together, and that's going to uh, unlock the Mini Cooper hidden menu for you to actually be able to access it. So let me see if I can get into one more time. Again, since I have warnings popping up, it's kicking me out of the menu, which kind of sucks and is kind of annoying. But no, nah, yeah. Let me see one more time. We're going to try one more time to get in so that I can show you guys. Holding that. There you go, oh well, again. There you go, so there's the VIN, those are the last five of mine. So once you hold it in, it lets you into the menu, and these are all the different pages you could go through. Again, I'm not gonna show you that, I'm gonna leave the link to this in my description so that you guys can check it out and try and navigate how to get through the hidden menu. But number five is the Mini Cooper hidden menu. It's super cool, it allows you to be able to reset everything in the car you can reset your tire light you can reset a check engine light through all that stuff now obviously if you have an issue it's still gonna pop up just so you know but it's a super cool little uh hidden feature all right everyone so that's gonna conclude the video thank you so much for watching i feel a lot better about this remake than i did about my old video that i uploaded a little over a year ago even though it is my most popular video on my channel i know the audio wasn't good I know the quality wasn't the best, so hopefully this one's better, but these Mini Coopers have a lot of cool features to them. These are my top five favorite. Again, this is just a personal opinion, what I use on a daily basis, or almost on a daily basis, but I use the most. So uh, if there's something that you guys know about these cars, a hidden feature that I didn't mention, please share it down below in the comments. I'd like to hear what you guys use, and if you guys have found any of these features that I showed you helpful let me know too because i like helping out people that have the same cars as me i love talking to you guys it's super fun i know a lot of people support that so anyways guys please like comment and subscribe it lets youtube know that i'm doing a good job and i'll see you guys next time have a good one